I'm Andreas Olofsson, founder at Adaptiva. Our goal is to make parallel computing accessible to everyone. So far, we have the backing of over 2,000 developers. But Parallel is not just for programmers. So today, we want to show you how the Parallela can be used to turn your TV into a real computer. Parallela will be a $99 credit card sized version of this computer, which includes a dual core ARM, HDMI, Ethernet, USB, and a powerful Epiphany accelerator. It's an open platform, which means you're free to install any software you like. I brought my daughter Michelle with me today to show how to use the Parallela. Michelle, are you ready? Yep. The Parallela boots from a standard SD card. To turn it on, plug the board into the TV's HDMI port and flip the switch. Pick up your wireless keyboard. Sit down on the couch and start surfing. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Michelle. Parallela runs Ubuntu, so you have access to thousands of free software packages. You can stream internet videos and music, play movies, access cloud storage, write emails, and really do all the things you would do with a regular computer. This is all just the beginning. Once developers start writing parallel programs for the Epiphany, the possibilities are endless. With your $99 pledge, you'll help make parallel possible, and you'll get a great computer. This is Chip, the world's first $9 computer. Connect over composite, VGA, or HDMI. Chip does computer things. Save your documents to Chip's onboard storage. Surf the web over Wi-Fi. Play games with a Bluetooth controller. But wait, there's more. This is Pocket Chip. It makes Chip portable. Take Chip, put it into Pocket Chip, and you can use Chip anywhere. You might have noticed, Chip looks a little different than every other computer. Because we built Chip to fit into your projects. And we're so excited to see what you can do with a $9 computer. Kickstarter, we need your help. To make Chip for $9, we need to buy components in extremely large quantities. Help us make the $9 computer a reality and back Chip on Kickstarter today. Thanks. Thanks. This is Solo. Solo is the first ever truly collaborative cloud computer. Use it alone or connect it to an external screen and keyboard. Solo is a computer like never before. Simpler, faster and more efficient. Browse the web, create and edit documents or use it for entertainment. In the Solo OS, we have completely got rid of icons, folders and trash bins and replaced them with spheres. Tap to enter the sphere, add people to it with just a few swipes. From now on, sharing your content is as easy as tap and swipe. Collaborative document editing is made easy. All is done in real time. Everything works, even when the internet connection goes on strike. Sharing documents works instantly and does not require the manual installation of apps. Anytime a cell is shared, the required tool will be installed in the background so you can focus on the content. Solo cells are not just apps or files, they combine both. Just zoom in to work immediately without opening an app. Each sphere and each cell has its own chat where you can discuss and plan your work. This chat is also an event log, so you can see what has happened. As you don't need to install apps anymore, we replaced the App Store with an app library, which includes all the tools, games and licensed content available in the Solo environment. And we pay developers based on how popular their applications are. Solo is also compatible with most Android apps. When you leave a sphere, everything will be kept exactly as you left it. Solo is an easy way to keep your personal and work content separate. Due to an interactive trackpad, Solo changed the way we interact with applications. 
Instead of cluttering up the main screen with controls, we transferred them onto the trackpad itself. When you are not at your desk, just take the solo with you. Do all the same activities you would normally do on a computer, straight from your pocket. And if you break or lose your solo, all you need to do is get a new solo. Log in and your data will be there, just the way you left it. Solo. It's a social computer for our generation. Hi Keystarus, I'm Lauren and I'm Matt. We are the Latte team and this is our latest product, the Latte Panda. We are makers, we love making and hacking things. But so far, we haven't found any suitable tools for Windows-based projects. So we created Latte Panda, a palm-sized quad-core full Windows 10 computer and it runs perfectly with you. Using Microsoft Office Playing high definition videos and running other Windows compatible software on the Latte Panda is exactly the same experience as using a regular PC. And it's way smaller. In fact, it's 40% smaller than an iPhone. But just like an iPhone, it includes Wi Fi and Bluetooth 4.0. Very affordable to run, using a regular 5 volt phone charger for power. To make it suitable for a wide range of user scenarios, Lati Panda also comes packaged with an Arduino compatible core processor. With existing open source APIs, you can build your own software or hardware projects and then share them to our community. We are a small team of engineers and hobbyists based in Shanghai, each with specific skills. Supported by DF Robot, we have an array of hardware and software resources at our disposal. We love tinkering with hardware, and we are very excited to share our creations with you. When I started at Apple, Steve's sister Patty was plugging the chips onto the boards on the coffee table in the living room while she watched the gong show. <laughs> I'm pretty much the person who built um, most of the Macintosh prototypes. There was just no access to technology the way we have it now. The Apple One was a watershed event in terms of price and capability and the average person being able to own this computer. The Pine 64 is um, an improvement beyond my wildest expectations. Introducing the Pine 64. The Pine 64 is a fully expandable 64-bit quad-core single-board computer with a 1.2 GHz 64-bit ARM Cortex CPU, two USB ports, an Ethernet port, and a full 4K HDMI output. The Pine 64 has everything you need to build your next project. Purchase the basic unit to run Linux or Android, or add-on components to create your own custom computer. We're constantly developing new modules for the Pine 64 platform, such as a 5 megapixel camera, Bluetooth 4.0 and Wi-Fi card, lithium battery, or even an LCD touch panel, just to name a few. The Pine 64 also has two I.O. expansion ports, compatible with many other components, such as Z-Wave, Zigbee, and X10. 
For the price of a meal, the Pine64 is a fully-fledged computer. It's versatile, it's modular, and it's uh, more powerful than uh, most of the competition on the market. We at OpenHub are excited about the endless possibilities that the combination of the Pine64 and uh, OpenHub can bring. So having really a board that works well with OpenHub is really a perfect starting point for many, many more users. And it means that smart home technology becomes more easily accessible for everyone. With access to over 1.6 million Android apps on the market today, the Pine64 really can be your most affordable 64-bit computing platform. Run office apps, watch full 4K videos, stream from apps like Netflix, and play games or more. We're fully compatible with Android Lollipop 5.1, Ubuntu Linux, OpenHab, and more. Be one of the first to join the Pine64 community. And with your help, we can create more modules and software to bring affordable computing to all. Would we have ever believed we would have this $15 supercomputer? No, I, I wouldn't have believed that. It's a big step just from the Raspberry Pi to the Pine. It's still hard to believe that it's so cheap.